Okay guys, I've already sprayed 10,000 square foot. Yeah, it is a little breezy. The wind's at six to eight miles an hour, but I'm doing this field and I just don't pump the sprayer as much so it doesn't come out. It comes out a little less pressurized. Um, so it's not as small as particles. Um, when you pump it really, really hard, it makes it mistier and it drifts more. Um, if you pump it lighter as you're walking, it'll leave more of a bigger droplet size. Um, not as much pressure. But what I'm going to do now that I got to a certain point, it's hard with this field to see your lines. Um, so I go to a certain point on Landmark, but I'm getting out here to where I can't. So I'm just going to, every about 50 feet, stick a flag in the ground. So I know everywhere I'm spraying as I go, I'll punch it in one of these holes here. Um, and we'll see how much I walked. I'm going to think I do over a mile of spraying right now. And then we have one more to finish spraying, and then we'll go get Rachel for the morning um, to go out and do. I think we have four aerations to do. Um, one, two, two of them need to be mowed, and then I think we're going to mow two or three. We'll see how that goes. These aerations have been taking a little bit longer, but we're going to be ahead of schedule as far as finish, finishing them. So let me mix some more spray, get some flags to mark out my areas that I do. And then we'll get done. Hey guys, I'm done the first job for the morning man. You see this hill I gotta walk up? I just got done spraying all this. Yeah, it's breezy out, but I'm in an open field and it's under 10 miles an hour. Okay, I'm done. Let's see how many miles I walk to do this. And then we gotta go do one more before we get Rachel. Huh. I'm gonna bet you it was at least three miles. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, boss. Well, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. Yeah. I'm Rachel. <laughs> and I'm Carl. Yeah. And you're watching Happy's Family. Thank you very much. Oh, man. I never knew that view was this nice. Here. Oh, yeah. That's Wow. Pretty. That is a pretty view. I'll show you guys when we get out. Well, we kind of did because remember we came to this development to look at the Halloween lights and it was really cool with the background and the flag. Oh, yeah. Like, well, the flag's flag down is? that way somewhere okay. in another part of the... No, it's over that way. Oh, yeah, in another somewhere. part of the development. This is a huge development. We don't do yeah. anything in here but one aeration. Yeah. We used to have a client in here, but these are like cookie cutter homes. Mm -hmm. And I think that they probably get the lawn care guy that's going to go boom, boom, boom mm -hmm. as cheap as possible. Yeah. That's what we found out in this development. Mm -hmm. But... We are here to aerate seed. Last year, we only aerated this. We're aerating, seeding, fertilizing, and spraying this lawn today. Everything, Doing yeah. everything. It does look a little dry, though. Yeah, sure. yeah. we haven't had rain in a while, neither, so. But it looks good, so. And he uses the Jonathan Green Black Beauty seed. He's always, so that's why he's seeding with us this year, because we're using all that. So, yeah. And you guys seen I sprayed earlier? So I've walked a total of four miles today so far. Yeah, that's crazy. So needless to say, I'm a little beat, but we're going to try to get four aerations done. And the last two we're going to do, one of them's like pretty hard. It's the hill. Oh, yeah. So, because we're going to probably do this, go do the one next to Leighton and, mm -hmm. and mow them too. And then mow another one, take a break and then go back out again. Yeah. So let's get this done. Are you trying to get stung? No, I just want to make sure that you're not going to hit a nest. I'd rather me get stung than you. Yeah, it's weird. This whole bush has like yellow jackets in it. But I don't see any specific I don't see area. them going in anywhere. No. But this one over here doesn't. That's so weird. Not yeah. one on there. Strange. Okay, so this is the one more area. Do you want to pull these things out? Yeah, I can. So I forgot to show you the view from here, guys, but Rachel noticed, look at the moon over the mountains. Yeah. That is really neat.
so we're done finished the roses look nice too so we're finished this one let's go off to the next two still rachel why is there a lot of white in this yard why is the grass growing white what the grass is growing white Look at all the leaves. Did any seed germinate yet? Does it look like it? Not really, right? Yeah, he hasn't really watered it anymore. But. Let's get it mowed. Rachel's going to mow the front of this one and sides. So we can start, well, start aerating it. Or she can start aerating it. So there you guys go. These two are done. We aerated that one. Well, the front of it. Now we gotta try to do two more, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to mow this, or I mowed it already. I'm gonna get ready to aerate this monster with Rachel. See if we have enough gas. Rachel spreading the seed in this one. And then I'll take over and spread the seed in the other one.
and then fertilizer. And I think we're gonna call it a day. I'm not gonna spray this today. No I'm saying I walked 7.5 miles today. So by the time I'm done, probably eight and a half miles. How much do you guys walk in a day? My phone tells me I walked seven and a half miles today. I know. Hear that noise? What is that, guys? It it's rang seven times. No. <laughs> it's seven o'clock. I'm beat. I'm beat. Carl is. I gotta say, I'm beat today, guys. I. Oh. I did eight and a half miles of walking and spraying and I didn't even spray the last two or whatever, nine and a half miles. We did it though. Ooh, yeah, we did it. We did it. We right? finished, yeah. So, except for the spraying, of course, but um, Carl can go back and do that. It's sometimes easier to break all that up anyway. And yes, it would be much easier with a spreader sprayer. We do realize this, but unfortunately we're... I mean, if you guys want me to get one, you can buy me one. Oh, that would... Should we put like a... What would they call that? Um, What kind of... Like a donation? You guys want to donate? Donate no. a stand in his prayers. I'm pretty sure you guys can't... We're can not like that. I'm pretty no. sure you guys can't afford to buy one of that. We, we can't afford to buy it right now. Um, <laughs> we have too many bills to pay so well and it's just again going into going winter. into winter you when you don't have a full year of income or at least it's not um bread and butter income mm -hmm. you know that's all extra income anything that we get past this mowing season anything we get past that is is like you know just extra mm -hmm. it's not what we you know, um, how do I want to say that? It's not definite. Oh, nothing's definite when it's it comes not, to jobs right. and money. It's not definite. When we're done so, mowing, we can't make any more for three months mowing. Probably right. that's what you're saying, right? Once, yeah. once mowing and aeration's done, it's just projects. If you have winter projects yeah. like mulch jobs, and you and stuff are like that. very lucky and blessed to be able to pick up winter projects, you know. So, and for those of you who didn't save up a winter fund, you just have to find a part-time job in the winter. Yeah, I did it. Well, yeah, when we Not were no first in business, yeah. <laughs> And, and I understand why people, you know, do like, um, winter stuff, like as far as like snow removal and stuff, but we're in the mountains. If you guys don't know that we're in Western North Carolina and we don't even really like to drive the truck in, in the snow. The snow. <laughs> not that we don't know how to drive in the snow. We lived in Jersey yeah. and I drove in the snow. I was fine. Now the boss seat. <laughs> Don't give her a car in the snow. I drove, but she didn't stay on it the road. didn't end very well all the time. So Most of the time. Yeah, mo no, not most of the time because there were a lot of days that we had to drive in snow when we lived in Jersey. I mean, there were some winters that I was driving in snow like every day. And remember, I used to be a director of a daycare center. So rain, sun, shine, snow did not matter. Well, it wasn't only, it wasn't only snow. She actually almost totaled one of the cars in, um, in ice. Uh, there was a patch of ice in the road and she, somebody stopped in front of her. She hit the brakes and went to the side and hit a telephone pole. Yeah. And a phone booth. Yeah, I she actually was trying to make a squeezed call, I guess. my. No, I was not. I squeezed myself in between the telephone pole and and I don't think that the telephone booth is there anymore. No. Um, but yeah, that was very scary. Well, you knocked it down, so it's not going to be there no more. I didn't knock it down. I was squeezed in between it. Um, but my airbag didn't even come out. Oh yeah, didn't even the airbag didn't come out or nothing on it, and she hit pretty hard. She did eight thousand dollars in damage. Yeah, with a brand new with a brand new van. Yeah, and um, our daughter, our second daughter, was like only like weeks old, right? I was almost gonna bring her that night, and because I was going to um, babysit like a mom's night out type thing, mm -hmm. and I had Kayla with me because she wanted to go play with the kids. And I was gonna almost bring her, and then I was like, no, I'm just gonna leave her. It's a little icy out, and thank God I did, because, I mean, Kayla and I were fine. Um, I was just stuck in the vehicle, and I couldn't get to Kayla, so she was freaking out, so people had to, like, pry the door open 
to get me out. Um, but thankfully, you know, like I said, we were fine. We didn't have to go to the hospital or anything, but thankfully. So be careful out there yeah. guys in the snow and ice because it's coming up and it's going to be a bad one. Yeah. So. Just, yeah. Just be careful. I mean, you have to be careful no matter what on the road, you know, it's like, like Carl said, somebody stopped in front of me and they stopped abruptly because I guess somebody was turning into the store in front of them and I didn't realize it. And, um, you know, you just have to pay attention all the time. It doesn't yeah, matter. Any, Even any, if it was wet, yeah. I could have. Anybody who does that. like delivery services, lawn care, anybody who drives so many miles a year in their vehicle, you have a lot higher risk of getting in an accident. So be careful out there, guys. Yeah. And guess sure. what, boss? We only have 16 more aerations to do. I know. So that's great. So we did 24 already, I think. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting we're there. We're getting there. We have another week and a half to get 16 more done. Yeah. I think tomorrow, depending on if we get an answer, we'll do a, maybe one tomorrow. I think I got to catch up on mowing. Yeah, I think we do have to catch up on mowing. And then um, Thursday, I guess we'll be back to, right? Am I? Friday. We're on t Wednesday tomorrow. Oh, yeah. No, wow. we're on Thursday tomorrow. No. Not Wednesday tomorrow. Today's Tuesday. Oh, okay, yeah. Thursday, so, we'll get back to it. So Thursday, we'll get back to aerations, yeah. Well, guys, I'm going to go in the house and be done for the night. <laughs> yeah. There's no gardening at this time. Uh, when we get to this point, I do got to give stuff water in the morning, but it is what it is. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when we upload videos, which and, is pretty much every day. And don't forget to be happy. Or at least try. Have a good Have night. Have a good night.